Hey guys, I am Angela Jean and welcome to my channel where we talk all things manifestation, meditation, and healing. So today we're going to talk about seven steps to understanding the importance of communication in relationships. Before I get into this seven steps, you guys, I just want to tap down on one thing. A lot of people say that opposites attract and I fully disagree with that. I think that you need to have a shitload of stuff in common if you are going to actually have a relationship with substance that's going to last. So I will say that it's very important that you have things in common with your person, especially if you're going to live together. You guys better both be OCD or both be slobs because it does not work even in even in roommate situations. So that's just one thing I want to tap down on before I get to the importance of the seven steps of why it's important to communicate for a long lasting relationship. Step number one is it helps strengthen respect. What I have lacked in my previous partners is that they only wanted to share something if it was good. You have got to communicate what you need to communicate, whether it is good or bad. Otherwise, you're gonna shove it down and it's gonna explode out somewhere. You have to be comfortable that your person will hear you, want to see your point of view, and you guys can create a mutually beneficial plan moving forward. And you would be surprised, your partner might have insights that you're not expecting. And this is how you create a closer bond. This is how you gain respect for each other. They might have knowledge that you don't have because they are a totally different person with a totally different point of view. And this will strengthen your bond, so do not be afraid to say something, whether it is good or bad. You have got to communicate to move forward. Tip number two, you guys, communicating in a relationship also takes the guest work out of everything. Would you rather communicate to your person a little faux pas you might have or just be worried about being found out all the time? It would be better to communicate it to your person. I mean, it's almost like, to me, secrets always keep you divided. In my previous relationship, there were so many secrets and things kept from me. Whatever the reason was, point being, when you keep secrets from your partner, you are not letting them into your circle. <laughs> like meet the fuckers. You're not letting them into your circle. So you're basically keeping them out, telling them you are not part of my circle. I do not trust you. I do not want you to know this about me. I don't want to share this with you. This is mine. You do you. I'll do me. It keeps you separate. It's supposed to be a team thing when you're in a relationship. And I'm heavily adamant about that. Like we are a team, let's do this together. So you have to have uncomfortable conversations sometimes to keep the guesswork out of it and to create a stronger bond because you guys will figure it out together. Number three, it helps to avoid misunderstandings. Number four, and this is where most relationships fail, um, is that it will continue to build trust, but you can only do this if you continue to open up to each other. You continue to bear your soul and show your shit. Everybody's flawed, nobody is perfect, you guys. And so if you don't continue to be open and honest with each other, it will be the death of your relationship. So if you guys don't trust each other enough to share intimate details about your life, you're going to also stay very surface based. You're not really gonna have a relationship of substance. You really have to let people in, whether these are friendships or lovers, if you want to have relationships with substance. Okay, so that's a very, very important one, number four. Number five is the easiest one. It lets partners support each other. This is the great thing about having a person, you guys, is that when you let people in, you always have somebody there for you. Like we all have bad days on different days. Just knowing that you have somebody there for you is a great feeling. So that's really a simple one. It just allows you to have your support system. Everyone will say that their family is their support system and it's really, really true. But the only way that they can be your support system is if you let them support you by sharing with them what you're struggling with. So you have to let people in and that's a beautiful part of communicating. Number six is my favorite because I'm a Libra. It helps the love grow between you guys and just like a garden, it needs to be watered daily. 
If you've ever noticed, if you do have a, an argument with your partner and you guys resolve it in a healthy way, it brings you closer. It creates a stronger bond. It's intimacy. That's what intimacy is. Like intimacy is obviously sex, but intimacy is the deep, dark conversations that you have with your partner and you let them be there for you. You let them comfort you. You know what I mean? So that's a very powerful way to strengthen your bond. Oftentimes when relationships and marriages fail, it's because they've stopped communicating. They have let the communication go stale. And like that garden that needs to be watered every day, you have to constantly be feeding it, giving it energy, giving it life. Love can suffer from a lack of nourishment. And this nourishment is communication, it's connection. And that's why I think sex is so important in relationships. I really do feel like that's when you reunite your energy. That's when you combine your love. That is a very important part of a relationship to me. I'll tap down on that in another video, why I think sex is very, very important in relationships. But for now, let me stay on the topic and do our final and last tip. Number seven, it's great for your mood. One of the greatest parts of a relationship is being able to express yourself fully for the good, the bad, and the ugly. When your partner is happy and you're happy for them, it's like an echo chamber. You know, you guys, you definitely feed off each other's energy, but that's also why it's good to share your goods, share your bads, because of the fact that you share off each other's energy. If one of you are having a bad day and the other is not, they are able to share their energy with you and lift you up vice versa. But then if something great happened, you guys grow and vibe together. So you really do share energy and that's why it should never be abused. You know what I mean? Always take responsibility for how you feel. Always take responsibility for the energy you bring to the relationship. It's okay to have a bad day, but you also can't marinate in it too long because you're bringing your partner down with you, especially if you guys are living together. You have to do your best to lift yourself out of your moods. And oftentimes, the more you communicate, the easier this is. It is true that if you communicate, if you journal, it is a form of releasing it, getting out of your body. That's also why fitness and so many other things are important, but that's another video as well. So communication is just very, very, very important if you're gonna have a healthy relationship that will last. All right, guys, hopefully that was helpful. Seven steps to understanding the importance of communication in a relationship. I will see you guys in a few days. Bye. If you guys have not subscribed to my channel, go ahead and click the circle next to me. And my previous video is right there. Don't forget to check that out. And I'll see you guys soon.